We've all been there. We've been in a conversation where we can't quite hear what somebody's saying and we smile and we nod and it's totally inappropriate to the conversation. But imagine if you had a hearing loss and those issues came up all the time. So today we're talking about fixes for this for those that have severe hearing loss. And I'm here with audiologist, Dr. Danny Genevico. And even if somebody has a hearing aid, they can still have issues where they can't quite hear you. So we're talking communication overall today. Absolutely. Hearing aids generally will improve people on the order of about 70%. Uh, but the problem is a hearing aid is an amplifying device and it's going to amplify other things in the environment. And so people that wear hearing aids generally in face-to-face -face conversational situations do quite well. But then there's a lot of situations that they have difficulty in. So I'm going to just mention a few things, particularly noted to the family and friends that will help. The first thing is if your loved one has a hearing loss, before you start talking, get their attention. And sometimes they might be looking down or reading. Uh, it's important that they look at you. Face-to-face uh, -face communication is terribly important because everyone has the ability to subliminally lip read to a certain degree. Even the normal ear, mm. the normal hearing person, when they don't understand, they say, pardon, they look at the person's face. So always try to position yourself so you're talking directly to their face as opposed to in their ear. Uh, riding in a car is always a problem. So you put the patient in the back seat and all they can see is the backs of the people's yeah. heads. <laughs> Good point. Put, them, put them in the front seat mm -hmm. so that they can at least turn and look at the driver or perhaps turn and look at the people uh, behind them. If you're in a restaurant, don't sit next to the person, sit directly across from them so uh -huh. that they can see your face. So when you have the addition of visual cues, uh, it augments what the hearing aids don't do. Remember the hearing aids will help a great deal but there are still things that they're going to miss. So I think visual cues, positioning yourself is, is pretty important. Uh, another issue relates to uh, background noise. Remember, a hearing aid is an amplifying system, and so any sound in the environment is going to be picked up to a certain degree by the microphones on the hearing aid. So try to minimize the noise. So if you're watching TV, as an example, mute the TV before you talk to your husband or wife or whoever the hearing impaired person might be so that their ear is only listening to one signal as opposed to television and your voice simultaneously. If you're riding in the car, it's a good idea to keep your car radio off, keep your windows up, and put your air conditioner motor on a lower speed so that there's less interference. The quieter the listening environment, the less interference there'll be. Mm. Uh, another thing that helps sometimes is uh, the way we talk sometimes to a normal individual. We, we talk at a very rapid speed. Oh, good point. And what happens with a hearing loss is if you miss a word, you try to fill that word in uh, based on the context. And if they have a pretty significant hearing loss, they're still trying to figure out what that word was yeah. and the speaker is still talking. So sometimes slowing your rate of speed down a little bit will help significantly. Another issue relates to just your syntax. When you're talking to a person with a hearing loss and you try to get a message across, now most individuals are gonna hear fine with their hearing aids on, but some of the people with more severe hearing impairment you may say something two or three times and they get most of what you said, but they miss a key word. Change that word. Use a synonym. So sometimes little things like that will help a lot. Uh. I guess what you have to remember, hearing impairment, the rehabilitation is not a hearing aid. It's a process. The hearing aid is a big portion of that. But hearing aids without using common sense, without using some of these listening strategies, sometimes will not give the patient what they really need. The bottom line is not putting a hearing aid in someone's ear. The bottom line is improving communication. The hearing aid is two-thirds of the, of the answer to that uh, issue, but the last third really is in the hands of the family. Such great advice, and to improve your communication, Audiology Hearing Aid Associates can help. They have two area locations. There's one on Langhorn Road in Lynchburg. The number there is 434-528-4245. Their Danville location is on Main Street, and their number there is 434-799-6288. You can also find out more online at digitalhearingforyou.com.